This is Jess from JessHuff.com. In this video, I'll show you how to add the tongue and bottom lip as you're crocheting the head of my free amigurumi pattern, Daisy the Dog. I've included a link to the pattern in the video description. At this point, you should have crocheted to the end of round seven of the head. You should also have a completed tongue and a bottom lip. I've completed to the end of round four of the bottom lip. Let's finish it off together. Fasten off, leaving a 12 inch yarn tail. Fold the circle in half. Insert your hook through the first stitch of the round, then through the last stitch of the round, and use your hook to pull the yarn tail through. That completes our first slip stitch and we'll continue slip stitching all the way across. Once you've completed the 12th and final slip stitch, pull the tail through and hide the remainder of the tail inside the work. So now we have our completed bottom lip, our tongue, and the head completed to the end of round seven. We'll attach the bottom lip and the tongue in the next round. So let's go ahead and do that one together. To start round eight, single crochet in the first two stitches of the round. Now we're going to start attaching the bottom lip. Insert your hook through the first slip stitch on the lip, then through the next stitch of the round on the head, and complete a single crochet. We're going to do this three more times through the next slip stitch on the lip, next stitch on the head, single crochet. Okay, so now we've worked through the first four stitches on the lip, and in the next four stitches, we're going to attach the tongue. So place the tongue wrong side up. The tail should be on the right-hand side, and tuck those tails under your working yarn so that when you complete the next stitch, those tails end up on the inside of the work. Insert your hook through the next slip stitch on the lip, then through the first stitch of the tongue, then through the next stitch on the head. Complete a single crochet, and then repeat that process three more times. Through the next slip stitch on the lip, then through the next stitch on the tongue, then through the next stitch on the head. Single crochet two more times. Make sure you go through all three layers and single crochet.
Okay, so we've worked through four more stitches on the bottom lip and through all four stitches across the flat side of the tongue. The tongue is now attached. To finish attaching the bottom lip, single crochet through the next four slip stitches of the bottom lip and through the next four stitches on the head. One, Two, three, and four. Okay, the tongue and the bottom lip are now attached to the head. Complete the remainder of round eight by single crocheting 22. One, two, three, 20, 21, and 22. In round nine, we'll be switching colors. Let's complete round nine together as well. Single crochet in the first two stitches of the round. Fasten off, leaving a six inch yarn tail. Now I'll grab a yarn needle and thread the tail through the needle. Now we're going to create an invisible finish in the next stitch. and then fasten off with a knot on the wrong side of the work. With your next color, create a slip knot on your hook. Single crochet in the faux stitch of the invisible finish. To finish out round nine, single crochet in each of the remaining stitches of the round. I'll show you how to start round 10, just so you can see how to work across this color change. So round 10 is five single crochets and an increase repeated six times. One, two, then work into that color change just like a normal stitch. Three, four, five, and increase. So to finish round 10, repeat that sequence of five single crochets and an increase five more times, then complete the remainder of the head as your pattern is written. 
If you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified about my future crochet tutorials. Thanks for watching!